Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what the most high, and in this case today, what your higher self wants you to know. What your higher self wants you to focus on or uh, be enlightened and aware about today. This is going to be a higher self message. So I hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day. If you uh, like the content, please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. Please keep in mind that this will be a general message, so everything may not apply to you. But if you are here, there's definitely something that the Most High or your higher self wants you to know. So let's go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths. For the last breath, you want to inhale for four seconds and exhale for five seconds. All right. Most high God, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, we thank you for your love, your guidance, your peace, and protection. Most High, please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what our higher self wants us to know, what you have communicated, or if the angels have communicated with our higher selves about our destiny, our purpose, and whatever it is that we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. I pray that the message will come out precisely as you would have it to. Please allow Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael to be here with us. Archangel Raphael, please continue to heal us on our journey. Archangel Michael, we ask that you please protect us and have the angels of protection and camp us and camp around the collective and myself. Please and thank you. All right. So we're going to start with my my random uh, sub-confession higher self deck that I've channeled with my higher self and angels and then we'll do the higher self deck as well all right higher selves angels ancestors spirit guides most high God please reveal what it is that we need to know today what should we be aware of okay this one says you're going to have to work harder and protect and cleanse your energy so there's some of us that are working towards a particular goal or um, we should be working towards a particular goal is what I'm hearing there's something that we need to do we got to put more work in more effort towards whatever that is only you will really know what it is for you there's going to be lots of different examples of that in the collective okay we got I am here with you help someone that won't expect it low vibes are red flags this was on the bottom of the deck whoa okay I'm taking that one do something nice for yourself it is hard to move forward when you don't get a break okay so that's for someone that has actually been overwhelmed and swamped with a lot of things that you're dealing with at this time so you're being called to take a break and do something nice for yourself. You're working a little bit too hard. I'm hearing you need to take some time to yourself and take a break. 
to clear your mind and reset. And once you do, you'll be able to move forward. Don't take it personal. Okay, I'm hearing with don't take it personal a few different things. The first is that there are some energies, people that are close to you that are acting a little bit erratically for someone in particular. Um, but there are, this is a side note, but there are a lot of energies just around right now attaching themselves to any open vessel that's willing to allow them to be housed there so that could be your best friend your mom your teacher your spouse anyone so you're being advised not to take it personal when these energies do this but to protect and cleanse your energy like we saw earlier earlier and set boundaries also, what don't take it personal, what the most high and your higher self wants you to know is taking it personally personally means reacting, acting out, feeling uh, disrespected or feeling the need to respond or defend yourself. That would be you taking it personal. So don't do that. Just understand that that is this person's situation, their energy, protect your energy and keep moving. The most high is with you your angels and ancestors confirmation your spirit guides are with you don't this is very important not to take anything personally there are going to be a lot of uh people stepping i'm hearing even out of their own character so this may be people that don't typically act out in this way or um they don't try to make it a point to exclude you or make you feel some type of way, but there's a heavy energy of projection going on. So just don't take it personal. Okay, bottom of the deck. No one gets away with anything. God sees all. So your higher self is wanting you to know that I'm hearing, I'm aware of what they did to us. Okay, this is your higher self speaking to you. I remember what they did to us. You don't worry about it. Don't take it personal. God's got us. Okay? Comment down below. God's got us. There's nothing we need to be worried about. One more, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Your inner child is waiting for you. This is your higher self telling you. Like, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. So, it's like your inner child, which is the younger version of you, as well as the higher self, the older, wiser version of you. Your higher self is wanting the three of you energetically to come together. It's like... I'm seeing a tiny little girl, a young adult or person in their 20s, 30s, 40s possibly, and a very wise older woman all together communicating through prayer, through meditation, connecting themselves. The older, higher self advising the younger self on how to connect with the inner child, the youngest one, to close that gap on things that maybe you haven't addressed, maybe some childhood trauma that you face that is still affecting you in the present. So you're being advised to just attend to those things you may have been closed off to. There's something that you need to take a look at that is still having an impact on your life today something related to your childhood it's almost like you need to affirm through 
proactivity I'm hearing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Two, you need to affirm through proactivity to your inner child that they are safe, that they are okay. I see you giving your inner child the biggest hug and comforting them and saying, it's okay, we're getting through this, we got through this. In order for you to do that, you have to face it. And that's a part of like the dark night of the soul where you have to really face these dark parts of things that you've encountered, situations that you wanted to forget about. So there's just some inner child work that has to be done here. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay, I'm hearing there's two more here. Okay, this is one of them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Do that thing that you have been putting off. And what I'm hearing is that this inner child work is what you've been putting off simply because you just wanted to heal and forget about a lot of things which your angels and ancestors completely understand because it worked for some time. You just um, not ignoring it, but not allowing the trauma to come along with you on the journey. But you're being called now to really face it and I'm hearing, I'm seeing something like be sealed up, like it's done, it can be shipped off now. So they're wanting you to just get that closure, thank you Holy Spirit, and really overcome that so that it won't resurface later on. Thank you Holy Spirit. Oh wow, Holy Spirit is really speaking right now. I'm on the bottom of the deck, this is the second card that I was being called to pull. And it says, do not give up on yourself. Your higher self wants you to keep going, wants you to recognize how far you've come, how much work you've done. There are some things that you do need to address, but you should also be very proud at what you've come so far. I'm hearing that for some of you, you're going to help someone that won't expect it through some type of issue that you had as a child or some type of situation that you encountered as a child, you're gonna help someone heal the same type of wound, which is gonna be part of your own healing. Woo, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's powerful. So a part of your healing process is to help others heal. So there are, there are stages is what I'm hearing. So just for example, um, you felt like you were neglected as a child. This is just an example. So you spent a lot of time uh, imagining that you had a certain type of family, for example. Um, but you somewhat got past that and you decided, yeah, I'm just gonna have the type of family that I want. So you actively work towards that, but you didn't necessarily really heal from the abandonment that you felt. So your proactive way to help someone through that same thing is to engage with them, be with them, spend time with them, let them know they're not alone. And that in, in turn is gonna help you heal as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That was powerful. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. So side note. Well, not really side note. This is actually related to this. Some of this, some of the people that you're being called to heal are adults that are dealing with the same trauma you endured. This person may even be older than you but they may have suffered from some abandonment issues and felt neglected. So you'll be healing your inner child and helping to heal, heal their inner child by actively doing what it is that neither of you received in your childhood. That was a lot, but thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. So let me repeat that once more. You're going to be helping someone that won't expect it 
that has the same childhood trauma as you in turn you will be healing your inner child trauma and helping them to heal theirs as well that is powerful thank you holy spirit all right so um this is also actually called the higher self deck this is not my own deck but this is also more messages from your higher self Thank you, spirit. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, help is on the way. This is an image. I'm being drawn to the image as well as what's on it. But this is your higher self reaching down to help you, to guide you. And this message is all about your higher self. So this is a confirmation that your higher self is trying to connect with you and letting you know help is on the way. And this is also, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is also you being this guiding light to help this other person that's also going through something you've been through. So it's just about proactive healing, I'm hearing. From your higher self, the spirit team, the most high God, to your higher self, down to you, down to your inner child, and then you helping another person heal themselves their inner child which will also heal you and your inner child oh my goodness this is so beautiful i love it direction yes this is going to i'm being drawn to the north node this actions that you're going to be taking to heal your inner child is putting you further towards your north node your seed in the light is what I'm saying. You're, you're headed in the right direction, the direction that the most high and your higher self is guiding you to. You're already actively headed that way is what I'm hearing. One more, please, Holy Spirit, and then we can close this out. Actually, two. Intuition. Your higher self, your spirit guides, they're constantly communicating with you through downloads, through your intuition. So it's very important that you're staying connected, meditating, praying. With all the leaves around, I'm seeing like you need to spend time in nature. Another message, thank you, Holy Spirit, that's coming through right now is, although this is like a compass, um, the divine is showing me a clock right now. Someone is really staring at a clock, um, feeling like they're running out of time to achieve your purpose. And the divine and your higher self is telling you not to focus on time just to keep moving forward you're not running out of time last card success you will be successful just continue to stay connected through meditation follow your intuition keep your energy cleansed and stay positive that's also very important i'm being called again to remind someone that's been working too hard to Take a break, do something nice to your, for yourself. And also to make sure that you're uh, taking the time to do whatever it is that you've been putting off. Get started. I'm hearing get started. So that was the message. I love you all so much. I hope that you enjoyed it. If this message uh, resonates with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your higher self loves you. Your inner child loves you. I love you so much. 
your spirit guides the most high God and your ancestors love you so much. They're so proud of you. Keep going and uh, have a blessed day. Again, if you like the content, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. Peace and blessings until the next message. Most High God, we thank you for this message. We return this energy to sender. We return this energy to the divine to be transmuted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. Ashe.